Hi, I'm Jim from Area Ordnance Depot. I'm back and we're going to talk about the M1 carving today. Uh, it's a handy little carving, but like uh, we do with all firearms, we want to keep it pointed in a safe direction. And uh, we'll remove the magazine by depressing this button on the side and pull the action open and be certain that it's empty. It's empty. Um, this is a, a 30 caliber carbine and it's fed from a box magazine. The box magazine can be loaded either with single rounds or you can use a stripper guide that installs on the back of the magazine and then the 30 caliber cartridges are then loaded into the magazine by pressing them down in the end. So since we're working with a firearm, like all of our other videos, we remove the any live ammunition from the area we're working in. We'll double check the magazines in the pouch to make sure that they are in fact empty. They are. Now we're going to cover basic disassembly. First thing you want to do now that we've established that it's empty, remove the sling. And then our barrel band, since this is the bayonet lug version, uh, it makes no difference. Uh, if it was a simple the World War II early band type, it would be the same way. This is a peened over screw. The screw, you can take an empty or fired cartridge case and use the rim of the case to turn the screw to loosen the band. Now you can only go so far with this, they peened over the other side so that it will never come out. Um, it's not supposed to come out, it's just supposed to loosen it up just enough so that you can remove the band. At a certain point, it gets loose enough, you could just turn it by with your fingers. It's probably even easier than using the rim of a cartridge. And then we'll use that to press on the band, slide it forward. We'll remove our top assembly and remove the receiver. Here we have a pin that's already coming out. Uh, that pin retains our trigger group. There's our trigger group. Next we'll want to take our recoil spring assembly out and its guide. Now if you look closely there's a notch here on the receiver or on the barrel. And we can line that notch up and twist the whole thing right off. There's two notches and there's the cam that turns our bolt to the slot. And we can just lift this guy up, straighten it out, and pull it right out. That's our bolt assembly. Uh, fairly simple. Not a whole lot to her. Uh, when you're cleaning you want to be certain that the gas piston is as free of debris as you can be. That it moves freely and that the carbon has been removed from around it. It's an important area to address when you're cleaning. So we'll begin to put it back together by just reversing our procedure. We'll drop our, our bolt assembly in. Like so. We'll roll it back over. And we want to find the notch here. And two notches there. We'll set this one first. And if our bolts to the rear, it should work quite nicely for us. Pick it up there. Install our spring and rod. Next, we have to engage the T-slot notch here for our trigger group. And this is pretty important. The pin has a little head on it, and the retainer pin needs to go to the left side. It goes in on the left side. The head goes on the left side. 
because it rests against the stock, which keeps it in place. Now we have a, a notch in the back of the receiver. It engages. Drop everything in. Hand guard in it. Pull that band back. And then you just tighten it up. Never try to completely remove the screw. Uh, you just damage it. It'll be more difficult to get back in when you need it. Handy little rifle. Or carbine, shall I say. These were made by a lot of different companies. One company that's particular local to us is Standard Business Products. There we go. Now we've got a tight band. Final step is to reattach our sling. And that's pretty simple. Take our empty magazine put it back in. I can pull the bolt assembly to the rear. And Decock it, run safe, and there you have it, and one carving.